Introduction In recounting the history of textiles, it used to be an age of natural fibers because of some unique features like cross section of cotton, scaly structure of wool fiber, triangular cross section of silk, etc. These fibers could be identified by examining their longitudinal and cross sections on a low magnification microscope. The first man-made fiber, Vescos Rayon, also had a distinctly different cross-sectional geometry compared to the natural fibers of that time. However, synthetic fibers were discovered and commercially produced. Their identification became more complex because most of these synthetic fibers were smooth with circular cross sections and a rather featureless geometry. It therefore became necessary to extend the range of tests so that given an unknown fiber its exact identity should be specified. A number of interesting developments have made the process of identification more complex. Only two of these will be pointed out today. Large quantities of fabrics are now made from blended yarn. For example, the blend of cotton with polyester in which cotton confers comfort mainly due to its high moisture absorbency capacity and polyester fiber gives the fabric a number of other desirable characteristics. The second development worth mentioning is that of biocomponent fibers in which a single filament may contain two different fiber forming polymers a core of polypropylene and cached in a sheath of polyester both there will be revealed during the test these and other developments have thus added a degree of complexity in the attempts made to identify the fibers and one must take note of this range of tests to identify a wide range of fibers there are around 20 fibers that must be considered whenever an identification exercise of an unknown fiber is on the finer the fiber the better its properties. This suggests that a composite measure for fibers must include fineness or coarseness as a factor. These include the natural fibers like cotton, silk, linen and jute. The secondary method comprises man-made fibers based on natural feedstock the major fiber in this category being Vescos Rayon. The third important category is that of synthetic fibers and includes polyester, acrylic, modified acrylic, lycra, spandex etc. Amongst inorganic fibers, asbestos, glass, metallic and carbon fibers are worth mentioning. It is that single test will lead to its identification. There is a need to have a range of tests and the following have been found to be particularly useful.